I'm so gone, gone, gone over you, over you. You can put it all on my tab. You can spend all of my cash. I'm so gone, gone. What's up y'all it's your girl Tisha I am back with another video for you guys I am doing a cook with me today very very simple recipe lumpia my way well really my mom's way she taught me how to make it but y'all get the drift so stay tuned so you can see how I make this very very simple recipe lumpia okay y'all so I'm gonna start by showing you everything you're gonna need for the recipe my recipe okay so you're gonna need some oil some onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and complete seasoning is my choice. You can pick whatever other seasonings you like, but this is what I'm sticking to. Very simple, but still delicious. Of course, I'm gonna need a bowl of water, and that's to seal the wrapper. Of course, you're gonna need lumpia wrapper. I got about one pound of ground beef right here. And then I have one bell pepper and four carrots that I will be peeling. Well, cleaning off, peeling, cutting, and all that good stuff. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these cleaned up, and then I'm going to start cutting them. All right? All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I already rinsed off my carrots and my bell pepper. I'm going to go ahead and peel that with my Mr. Peeler. Got this at Ross. So, I'm going to peel these and cut this up. All right?
Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting up the carrots and the bell pepper. Just wanted to say, when you do cut your bell pepper and your carrots, you wanna cut them as tiny as you can because you know they're going into the meat, which is going into the wrapper. So you don't want big, big pieces, you know? So I'm gonna cut those tiny and the carrots and then I'll be right back with y'all. Okay y'all, so I'm back. Um, I honestly only used two medium sized carrots. I didn't need all four. So here they are, cut up small. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in here with all the seasonings that I told you guys, the garlic, onion, pepper, and complete seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna put all this into the bowl with the ground beef and mix it up and I'll be back to you guys. All right, y'all, so got the vegetables in there. Let's mix that around first. I may have to get, get my hands messy. You want to mix it really good. And let me, um, I'm using ground beef. You can use anything you want as far as like ground pork, um, turkey. Be creative, you know, you don't have to use ground beef. That's what I have, so that's what I'm be using. You can use ground chicken. You can add stuff to this. It don't just have to be bell pepper and carrier. You can add cabbage. You know, add what you want. So I'm going to do it the simple way because it's delicious. That's just how, what I'm used to. Okay. So. Now let's go ahead and start. Oh, and I did um, forget to tell you guys, that you, you'll need a little bit of salt. So I got regular salt. Okay, what are you doing? Just put a little bit up in there. Okay. Mix that around. Squish and mix, squish and mix, squish and mix. garlic I use a lot of garlic in my lumpia so spread it be generous okay you want to have flavor so that was the garlic and now do the onion yeah put that down cave oh I need to open the onion that was open already I to open that up same with the onion powder, be very generous. You want flavor when you, okay? No, that looks like a lot, but trust me. Then, add some pepper. You don't need that much pepper, just a little bit. And some complete seasoning. It's a little twist, I, my mom doesn't use that, but. Comment below if you ever use this seasoning, if you like it, I love it. I use it about every damn thing. Watch my language. Okay, then you're gonna mix that. You want every piece of meat colder with that seasoning. All that seasoning. Okay. You wanna mix that around. You ready to eat lumpia? Yeah. Huh? Okay, Vian. You ready to eat lumpia? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Squish, 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 squish. Yeah. Mix. Okay, so. Um, and let me tell y'all once we're gonna okay after this I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, lumpia wrappers papers and we're gonna go ahead and start rolling it and we're gonna use that bowl of water that I showed y'all the beginning to seal it and then you actually need to freeze your lumpia um, I normally would freeze it overnight but because I'm doing 
the video for you guys. I'll freeze it for some hours and then I'll fry it. Okay, so. But I will show you guys how I roll them. Okay. All right. So that's just about, that's done. So let me go ahead and get the lumpia. Uh, 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 I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, leave that stuff alone, Kavian. Thank you, have a seat. Okay. I'm gonna use this pan. Move all these seasonings out my way. Get my water. Okay. Got my lubia wrappers. Hopefully you guys can see that. It might be backwards. Okay, Kavion, you cannot do that. I'm recording. You have a seat, please. Thank you for you break the camera. We don't want that to happen. Okay, they come actually like already in little sheets, so like I'll show you. Gotta be very, very gentle. Okay, here's one right here. Here's the Lumpia wrapper what it looks like yes my hands are clean Ooh, this so you're gonna put it here okay I hope y'all can see let me grab a spoon okay get some of your filling You don't put too much, okay? Because the meat has to cook. Y'all see that? Little bit of meat. Just enough for... Let's see if I can put it up close for y'all. See? Put in a little roll with that much space. Okay. I ain't trying to get copyrighted. <laughs> so you're gonna roll it, I roll it tight like that, see? Then, once you get kind of halfway, fold the um, sides, you know, fold the sides in. Just like that, okay? Once you fold the sides in, go ahead and continue. Make sure you fold them really good in, because let's see. There we go. Continue, continue. When you get this much left, take your water, dab the end, because that's how you seal your lumpia. Okay, dab with some of the water. That's how you seal it. Cause like I said, it's gonna go in the freezer. And there's one lupia right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a whole bunch more <laughs> for you guys.
also I finished rolling all the lumpias and I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them um I would say freeze them for at least three to four hours but normally like I said I would do it for overnight but um since I'm making a video do it for like three to four hours or overnight it would be way better so I'm gonna put these in here and put this in the freezer been in the freezer for about four hours I would say but like I said normally I would do it overnight but this has been four hours so I'm getting ready to fry it for you guys and y'all can see what it looks like okay so get some put it on this lumpia baby put it on a little bit let the lumpia be the star sorry the lumpia is the star y'all okay take one and don't have it too high see it's, it's just bubbling look that's what you want because the meat is raw you want the meat to cook through so you don't want it too high okay the key is patience with your lumpia have patience I can't rush this okay so I'm gonna put about I think I can put one more Let's see And don't you don't have to um, put too much oil you know just like it doesn't need to cover we're not deep frying it what you're gonna do is you know fry one side then flip it over fry the other side so we're gonna get those fried up there you go y'all I flipped them over see that golden that's what that's what you want to see slow and low and golden when you turn Okay. So we're going to do about three minutes on this side. Then uh, we'll serve that with some sweet and sour sauce, baby. Okay. So I'm going to get good old, kind of get as close as I can. Yes. Lumpia my way baby and there's so many different ways you can make lupia and i will be serving it with this sweet and sour sauce you can get anyone you like but i'm getting this i'm using this one but don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel knt gang we in there so i wanted to show you guys what it looked like out the oil Sorry, I thought that was the end of the video. Definitely won't. <laughs> I'm back in bed. And here's the inside. Oh, can y'all see that? It is cooked. Just wanted to show you guys that. Here's some Lupia. And Kian is getting ready to try it in a few seconds. So we'll be right back to you guys. All right, y'all. So I got the plate right here for Kian to try. The sweet and sour sauce, the Lupia. And here he is. <laughs> Let's see. He's going to be honest. <laughs> All right. Let me drip and dip. Oh my gosh. Drip and dip. It's probably really hot. Hmm. See? <laughs> and Ken's talking about he loves his food hot, y'all. So. You gotta do. I hope it tastes like my mom's. Ruth. It do? Yeah, because you've had hers, right? So mm -hmm. he know. Oh, I did good. Thank you, Mom, because I know you watching. <laughs> so he likes it, y'all. What? Okay, you can give it. You can go ahead and rate it by honesty. Uh, five stars being the best, one the worst. 
I'll give about four and a half. Ooh, that's good. I'll take that. All right, y'all. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment what else you guys want me to cook, okay? Comment whatever y'all want us to cook, us, him, me, whatever. All right, we Make out. Sure we turn post oh. oh, yes, please hit the notification bell, y'all. We need them views, baby. We gotta get them views up. I know y'all, I know y'all want to see our videos. Hit that post notification bell, and we out. KNT Game.